Hello, this is video tutorial on how to remove uh, WebShield adware or WebShield application. So what is WebShield? WebShield uh, is actual program uh, that can be installed uh, on Windows 7, 8 and 10. Uh, and that uh, poses as uh, a protection tool for your browsers for Firefox, Internet Explorer or Google Chrome. Uh, earlier versions of WebShield uh, were installed as uh, browser extension, but the latest version uh, just installs in program data folder under your C drive. Uh, it it uh, advertises itself as uh, application to protect you from hackers, to uh, show you who is tracking you, to show you what sites plant cookies in your browser. Uh, but the main reason uh, of uh, this application is to show uh, ads, ads by WebShield or WebShield ads uh, on various shopping sites. Uh, it converts uh, words to underlined words and um, shows uh, ads connected with these words, etc. So basically, it's potentially a remote application, and uh, to remove it, you need to close all your browsers. Right click on your start button in uh, Windows 10 or just go to control panel and programs and features. And locate WebShield application in the list. Uh, try to uninstall it in normal mode. So in our case, so when we try to uninstall WebShield, it shows us error message that we do not have sufficient access to uninstall WebShield. Please contact your system administrator. Although uh, I'm the owner and the only administrator of uh, this virtual PC, uh, that's why it's surely message to mislead us. Um, if you see this message, there are two ways to remove WebShield. You can either uh, load your computer, your Windows, in safe mode uh, or use some anti-malware application that can remove uh, WebShield from your computer without rebooting, uh, without necessity to reboot in a safe mode. So one of the applications is malware bytes anti-malware. So I already performed a scan you know, with uh, Malwarebytes and Spy Hunter, and as you can see, Mal Malwarebytes found 20 entries, which are uh, folder files and some register keys. So it's quite a good result, and uh, we can say that uh, Malwarebytes can remove core files of WebShield. Uh, after I scan the computer with Spy Hunter. Uh, you can see that it's detected, uh, it has detected 97 entries, uh, which are register keys, files and folders of WebShield and some application called pull update, which also comes bundled with WebShield. So all you need to do is click pick three buttons button and I will click remove selected button in Malwarebytes anti-malware. So, uh, using these applications uh, can help you remove um, WebShield hassle-free. Only thing you will need to do is to reboot uh, your computer after uh, this program will finish removing. Uh, Malwarebytes already finished and uh, offers us to restart computer. I will st restart later. That's why I click no and close application for now. And let's wait until Spy Hunter 4 finishes. So Spy Hunter finished removing these threads. And we can now reboot our computer. So, and after a start, we don't have WebShield in the installed programs, and uh, all files and folders are removed. So, if we can check, uh, 
uh, in program data we don't have a web shield folder. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Check the links in the description to download appropriate tools. Subscribe to my channel. Share this video. Goodbye.